Yeah. Yeah, we're big, big word rappers. rappers. Yeah, we're smart as shit. Check it. Yeah, you ain't stopping this, popping this while I'm jerking off the porn hub through my Oculus. Yeah, I'm in my prime. You bitches could call me Optimus. Philoptopus while I'm jerking off an octopus or an octopus, octatus, and a vatalitz. I got a girl with eight tits. Octatits. Fophilus, I'm not on phone when I'm optimist. I hand debate the mandate, man, sure and candidate bars and fall fars. Fall for the laws and nars and soft in the mist. I'm sucking my dick off like a narcissist. I'm a narcissist that's an arsonist when I'm parts to piss and I don't even have a porch to piss, bitch. Yo, I'm rapping like I'm trapped like stuck in sperm and a fallopian, clopian, topian, false, and soapian. I'm looking for a utopia, fucking ways to get this copious. I'm out of fucking phase, out of my days, the plays, the phrase that I'm looking at all the range of planes. Thanks to the fangs, thanks like fucking blue planes. I'm fucking watching Soul Play with Kevin Hart. The movie sucks. My eyes are cock in the box, and I just took a fucking giant fart <laughs> right out my fucking poop. And the poop came down my legs, and the tracks, the fags, the heads, the heads, and the poops, the legs. I'm looking back, and I'm walking like a pirate with a pirate leg. <laughs> it's a peg. All the ones is a saw but thick. Chuck, fuck you. You ain't stopped till I'm rotten like an egg that's been out too long. Stuck on the counter, bad of a drop, bad as a bad as I'm sitting. It's a fitting, it's a box, box with a shitty. It's a mouth here, and I'm looking like the rapture for caps. Cause I'm a big word rapper uh, I rap just the same way Too fast with big words Even though I'm still mumbling And I hate bumble rappers <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah Let You know, know. we are, bitch Yeah, we're big, big word rappers. rappers That's what it is uh, Hit him yeah. one more time, y'all I'ma hit him one more time Off the top of the dome, yeah Your girl be sucking on mine That's when I'm coming off The top of the head, yeah Danny Lop can lose it When he's off of them meds I'm like, goddamn Bitch, you know what I said I'm like, fuck, you get it twisted like a Rasta dread My girl thick like every meal's fucking pasta and bread Motherfucker, focus up in the tuppers All soft for the Ross and up And chopping up people, Ted Bundy for supper and uppers Off and off, some of an off and off And I'm busting with orphans, orphans This off and I'm orphan. I got endorphins Running through my fucking pores Getting forcing and forcing it A pack of bitches with porcelain, torcelain Now I'm swimming with orphans Snorkeling with dolphins and tarping and snorkeling Half an arson off and a porcelain And five valorcian off a Norsian, Dr. Death Kevorkian for Norfolk the Dorsian. We Ooh, big word rappers. rappers. Uh-huh. Adrenaline, penalin, phenylin. We're big word rappers. Did you pick up on a single word? Probably not. Because you're not smart enough. We're big, big word, word rappers. rappers. Uh. Fuck yes. Uh, for, uh, far for lens. Endorphin. Endorphin. I feel like. You rap long enough like that, you'll actually. Feel like you're fucking I'm be, really good yeah, at rapping. Yeah, dude, I feel so good at rapping, but like none of that made sense. And I, and I, it's and good may, warm up. And maybe method, like yeah, maybe yeah, like maybe six of those bars are probably Eminem bars. Oh yeah, like if you just like it's uh, all influenced like rap that fucking era rap I used to listen to, and just be like, oh my god, like I'm so smart for listening to this. Yeah, you felt like a, it makes you into a snobby rap fan. Yeah, but like those words, fan. they probably read in a dictionary, had no idea what the fuck they meant. Yeah, I mean, the the best thing about those kind of rappers are coming back though now. Yeah, it seems like there's kind of like an era where like good rapping's coming back for a sec. Yeah, like a hot good, sec. Like, yeah, like really good rappers are like kind of getting mainstream shine, and that's kind of fire. But um, yeah, so welcome back to the Low Priori Podcast. Uh, we're big word rappers. My name is Danny, and I'm joined by my brother Michael. You probably know that already. Um, so let's and just, we're back on another fucking goddamn, and we're back with another episode of Tuesday Podcast. for y'all on a Tuesday. I got Smith and the fucking Tuesday. And she ain't Tuesday. What the hell's Tuesday mean? I don't know what Tuesday means, but that song is so fire. It, it is uh, that when that song first squad going up, up the body flipping packs now. I was hype. For that song. Yeah. Um, so listen, speaking of... Uh, and you showed me that we... I mean, we talked about that the new guy that Drake has. Oh, That's Smiley. Just, smiley. Yeah. Trophies, that, shit puffers, and that shit sucks. Yeah, but he's yeah. different, so that's why it's probably going to do okay. Yeah. And he's getting the cosign from Drake. Yeah. You get a cosign from Drake, you're going to go yeah, pretty far. Yeah. Anybody who cosigns you that has 94 million followers, probably going to do all right. You're going to do okay. Oh. Speaking of like followers and all that stuff, uh, did you watch the Jake Paul Tyron Woodley fight? Uh, yeah, no, I did not. I, I, um, I can proudly say I missed it. I would have watched it for free as I'm sure you fucking did too as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch for free. But, watch uh, Stan, we're fucking, uh, 
self snitching like uh rappers do all the time too. Come get me. Come get me. But uh I did I did, you know, do my research like clips and stuff like that. It seems like even though he won for punches landed, um the biggest part of the match was Woodley fucking almost knocking his fucking head off of his shoulders. Yeah, that, I mean, he landed the best punch of the fight. Yeah. That's been a thing with him though is that he's not a very active fighter. He's, yeah. he's very like cautious when he fights and they, and it cost him the fight. If yeah. he matched the output, he could have won the fight. He could have uh, won. Yeah, it. yeah. He just didn't match yeah, the output. Easily. And he's 40 years old and uh and I don't know I, I saw some of the fucking throws that uh Jake was one of some of the punches he was throwing and they were fucking terrible. Yeah, he got he's tired. Still really Yeah, and he got super gassed. Yeah. yeah. He's never going to be a real boxer. I think He's going to have to only do these and and he just put up like he's retired or something like that on his on his Twitter, dude. To be honest, like, not even to sound like a huge hater, and and if I am, then I guess I am. But I, I'm. It's sad that people like the world is even talking about this fucking kid because yeah. he's pulling up the biggest smoke and mirrors on the whole world. And I, I and I and I do tip my hat to him for making money off of it. it. See, that's why if you know what it is going into it, you know what it is. If you know what it is, <laughs> you know what it is. What song is that? I don't know. Fuck. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, it's going to get stuck in my head. But um, you know what, idiot. Uh, you know, if you know that it's a circus, you can enjoy it. Yeah. Like, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, that was a nice, like, combination upstairs and shit. I mean, I would like seeing both of my friends fucking fight, to be honest. If it went yeah. down. There's I mean, a part of me that doesn't want to see them fight, but I'd be like, damn, it's about to go down, dog. Who doesn't want to watch their friends fight? Yeah, especially, you know, yeah. as much as you say, like, I would never want my friends to fight, I want to watch my friends fight. I mean, I, if they were, like, getting at each other and there was, like, certain things, I don't know. If it's, like, my best, like, I wouldn't want, like, if it was, like, you and Jared or something like that, I wouldn't want to, like, see you guys fight. But a part of me would be like, damn, I kind of want to see this go down. Yeah, you let it go for, like, a minute. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, 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 like, I, like, yeah, I, yeah. like I finally care. So now, let him get it off, dog. Let him but, get it off, son. But, like, we're watching two dudes who their reputations are kind of on the line. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though Tyron Woolley doesn't give a shit, clearly, because he's getting the tattoo on him and stuff. But he, I he doubt wants that to, happens. You could just get it removed. It's the easiest thing to ever do. Yeah. I mean, it, it's one of those things where you have to understand it's just the fucking circus. Enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I take my hat off to both of them going in there and fighting, you know, like doing the best job that they could. But it's obvious to people that think I'm only speaking to people that think that, like, Jake Paul's like a uh, uh, an elite boxer. Yeah. So like, like they're you know, out there. Yeah. Someone you know, called him Muhammad Ali or better. Yeah. That person's trolling. I hope. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I think for him, what he should do is just take a lot of time off and just and just train and you know come back and fight somebody. Um, yeah, because he's past. He's past like. Who's an I, entertainer? He's I not going to fight anybody. I would say he's like a little bit above or still at amateur boxer. I'll tell you this. He'll kick my ass. Oh, yeah, because we don't, what do we do all day? We box our fucking nuts around. We fucking box our dicks around. That's about it. But, you know, I, I, I yeah. No, I dude, thought about that, too. I'm like, I'm God, I, I, was, I, thought, I was sitting down. I'm like, God, I could kick my ass. Yeah, it you know gets I mean? to that point. I feel like most 24-year-olds could kick my ass. I mean, at, at this point, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, also, I like, I'm over it. Fight. I don't I'm even want to fight. I don't even want to fight. Yeah, I'm over but it. But we got that. We got that. I've I've been through way too much shit to deal with you right now, Rage. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. I'm thirty. We're in our thirties. We're like that, bro. I've in our minds, we're like, yo, I've seen everything. Don't push me to the edge. I'll fucking yeah. bite your face off. If if I fight anyone under the age of twenty three years old, yeah, you better last that fifteen seconds me of just fucking pent up aggression and life lessons. Dude, all inside of me and, fucking, and bad decisions. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill this. Oh, 23 I'm gonna. Me and Jared were talking about this like last year. Uh, we, we were. It was such. It's so funny because we're like on the way to go get like a golden chain, like a gold chain. I I, I just want to beat up children. And we were in the Bronx, and like uh, ja Jared was like, um, I don't know. He said something like when we were walking by. I was like, nah, no one's touching my chain. I'll fucking, I'll fucking bite someone's nuts off. And then Jared, <laughs> Jared laughs because he knew exactly what I was talking about. Like, if you're gonna fight me, and I feel like my my life is being threatened, I'm gonna fucking bite the shit out of you. Especially if I'm I gonna have... fucking gnarl your fucking sack. I'll oh. I'll bite a dick too. I don't give a shit, dude. If it's... you're about to kill me, and I have no, and I and you got me in a situation, I'm gonna fucking. Can you imagine your yeah. dick getting bit? You'd be like, you would stop immediately. Yeah, I I I. Maybe even I'd, I'd s pretend to suck it for a second. 
You like, you like, you like, you like that? that? <laughs> While you're punching, you're like, yeah, you, you like fucking that? like that? Yeah, yeah, you fucking like that? Yeah, yeah, but you like that pussy? Uh, no, but yeah, I'm the type you of person like that. There's <laughs> you fucking like, like that? that. It's choppies. You fucking like <laughs> <laughs> those are messy. Uh, if somebody came at me in a fight and it's a street fight, there are no rules for me. Right, right, right. God's not on my side in terms of like genetics. You know what I mean? Right, so yeah. I have to make up. I'm the dirtiest player in the game, baby. Yeah. I have no problem dropping to my knees and biting that dick. If I have to bite that dick to go home that night, best believe that dick is Dude, leaving. I'm biting your fucking knob off. I'm bringing that knob home with me, dog. Yeah. I'm putting it on a gold chain. Yeah. If like, I can't beat you up, I'm going to have to bite your dick. That's it. Your dick's getting bit. Yeah. So as long as you know that coming into it, bring it on, daddy. Yeah. Because I'm going to bite that dick like off. While the guy's I'm going to bite that dick off the guys, to the seams, dude. While, while the guy's running away with his fucking hands on his fucking... And you're just, and you're just like fucking slowly just spit his dick out of your mouth. <laughs> with blood coming down. You do one of these. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you got... Yeah, you yeah. It? It's like a movie where like someone fucks with the wrong guy. Right? Yeah, they're it's, like, like, it's like a Breaking like, Bad like, moment. Yeah, where it's like three dudes who are like, let's fucking get this fucking clown. And he's just like, you don't want to do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Or like, that's what I'd be, because in 34 years, I'm like, I got so much pent-up fucking anger, dude. Yeah. I'll See, smash that's, my head through you. That's where our advantage lies, <laughs> yeah. is that we've had horrible things happen to us yeah. because we're just older. So yeah. if I just see you and you're like twenty with like your awesome fucking face, yeah, and your and awesome like hot body, yeah, your hot body, you still have the metabolism of like a nine year old girl, yeah. and I just see that, and you come towards me, you're making a big mistake because you're twenty, yeah, and you have your whole life ahead of you, yeah. I'm halfway to sixty four, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking bite that dick, dude. Yeah, and I'll bite down, brother, in front of the fucking millions. Dude. Fucking spit it out. <laughs> I'll bite your dick off and spit it out. I, I just, like, if I'm getting threatened to the point where my life is about to fucking end, dude, I'm going to fucking, I'll fucking stick my tongue in your asshole. Yeah, dude. I'll, 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 I'll tongue your butt. I'll bite your penis off. I'll, I'll confuse you. Yeah. I'll, I'll bite your penis off, yeah. and then I'll tongue your butt. No, so, you'll have, <laughs> so, you'll, so you'll have both imagine, sensations at once, and your brain won't know what to do. Imagine you guys punch you or get you in a headlock, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start licking, licking the shit out of his arms. You like that? He's like, this fucking guy's licking me, dude. You know when like a dog licks you? Like, I, I've never like I was just thinking. I know it's so random, and we're, it's, <laughs> this is what we do. We rear off into different things, but like, like I hate when a dog licks me for too long. It makes me feel like mad weird. Like, when yeah, a dog's just like so. I just don't so, like when you're like. So, so imagine like. Yeah, because they're just like enjoying your salt or whatever on your body. Like, Stop. Imagine so fucking real. doing it to a person like while they're fighting you. They'd be like, what the fuck? Because it's like a weird ass feeling. It's like there's just wetness all over your fucking skin and shit. You know what I mean? So you're just like, you're just like, what the fuck? See, for me, in that situation, too, like if somebody were to kidnap me and you'd be like, mm, I'm going to lick your hand. Oh, I'm licking the shit. If they out of put your their hands. hand over my mouth, the first thing I'm doing is, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 just doing weird it. shit to yeah, them. Yeah, I'm gonna try and fuck your hand with my mouth. He's like, oh, this fucking guy's drooling on me. I can't even kidnap this guy. <laughs> I like stick my tongue through his fingers and be like, shut up. Also, like you know, in movies where they show someone like about to like, they're, like, they're, like they're like, dig, like I'm thinking about a movie where like dig your own grave or something like that, right? I, I bro, I'm getting up and fighting until they just beat my ass. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm not putting myself down there and just staying there. Well, that's the thing. You, better, it's, it's, you got a fucking better casino, me for sure. Because I'm not fucking. I'm not gonna just stand in my. I watch movies like that all the time. Like the guy's just gonna get shot. I'm like, dude, run for try to run. Yeah. No, no, you're right. That's why it's like people see like yo like the honor of the ring. I don't have any of those things that tie me to. There's no honor amongst men. No, not where I feel like I'm gonna die. If we're shit. if we're in the street, I'm gonna try and kill you. Yeah, because you're gonna try and kill me. I'm only under the assumption that you are going to try to kill me, sir. Yeah, that's what the the assumption that I have. Yeah, that you're coming in here to kill me, dog. Yeah, like boxing, it's just like you do like the pit pat, tally whack, give a dog a bone, and then like you go back and it's like, yo, I love this guy, and they hug each other. It's like me and this guy aren't gonna hug after this. One of us is going to a hospital. Yeah, this is real life. This is like real life street shit. Yeah, and one of us is gonna be down a penis, and it's not me. Oh, I'm fucking definitely gonna bite a dick. Fuck yeah, amazing. Bro. Unless I have the upper hand, I'm beating someone's ass already. I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna beat the. Sh I'm probably gonna like beat the shit out of that yes. dick with my mouth. And if I can't beat you up with my mouth. I'm going to beat you up with my tongue. Yeah, I'm going to lick you down. You know, if I can't bite you, I'm going to lick you down. Top to bots. 
I'm going gotta, hard on you, dog. You gotta be. You gotta give them something they've never had in a fight. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, dude. You gotta scare people these days. Fucking suck their penis. Amazing, brother. <laughs> That's what you have to do. If I can't beat you up and I can't have sex with you and bite your penis off, you know, and and give you like uh, confuse like confusion uh, like sex jitsu. Um, I'm, yes. I'll stab you. Jizz jitsu. Yeah. I, if I can't do jizz jitsu on you, I'm gonna either stab you, and then if if I can't do that. I'm going to, you know, I had, apply for a gun license and, and see how that goes. I had a friend who wrestled me once, and psychologically, I couldn't fucking keep... He was beating my ass. I couldn't keep beating him. Like, I couldn't keep fucking... Uh, oh, I, thought, I thought you could say you got I a I couldn't boner. keep jerking him off. No, no, no. <laughs> I couldn't keep wrestling him. Like, I lost mentally because while he was doing it, he was like... Ugh, ugh. He was making me, like, mad weird sounds. And I remember being... I'm, like, 16. It's, like, three of my friends are all wrestling, and they know who they are. And we're all fucking wrestling. Like, you know, we were all... We all smoked. We were all drinking, and, like, we were just being, like, alpha male shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and... Uh, and <laughs> Story's going just sounds so hot and sexy. Yeah, it sounds like you guys. Yeah, then we all started fucking. Yeah, it sounds like you guys all smoked a blunt and had sex. <laughs> so like we're fucking wrestling and shit. We're we're fucking. You know, like uh, like it was literally like Royal Rumble, but f in 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 like a public park after we smoked and we're, drank, and everyone was just like, "Yo, fuck you, I'll body you, I'll body you." Was this at Reynolds? You no, know, this was at Zinzer. Oh, Zinzer, Zinzer. And one of my friends was going after me, was like, Ugh, Ugh. and I was like, "Oh!" And like my arms, like I got scared. And he was fucking kicking my ass because it was just so. It was just so like. That's where you knew. That's where you learned. It was so sexual sounding that I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" And I was thinking about the sexy sounds. I wasn't thinking about, "Oh, I gotta. What's my next move to counter him?" It was more like, what am I going to do to get out of this fucking grasp of this guy before he fucks my butt? <laughs> uh, you want to know? And that's where you learned. Not have a problem with people fucking each other in the ass, but like, I don't want to get fucked in my ass. Yeah, but that's where you learned. You have to outgay your opponent. Yeah, I should have been. I should have been like fucking just like, <laughs> like on the <laughs> <laughs> for me too. It's like uh, I never really thought about it too. Someone was like, "Yo, I'm gonna fuck you." I'd be like, "Let's go." Yeah, like yeah. I would do that, and like while I'm throwing punches, be like, mm, mm, "Yeah, yeah, fun. yeah, yeah." Just like, "Oh, oh shit!" Like if he hit me like really hard, because like either either they're gonna be freaked out or they're just gonna laugh and be like, "What the fuck?" And then at least just leave you alone. Yeah, my thing too is if a guy's really really big, brother, and I'm like, "Listen, dude, I can't slam this guy through the mat." Dude. Amazing, brother. Dude, what I would do is Kill get him. fully naked. Yeah, take off all your clothes. Maybe? I'm gonna take off all my clothes and just, and and just be like, "Yo, bro, I'm if some if I'm going to fight someone, and the first thing they do is get naked, I'm be like, yo, you dude, got, that's you got a, it, dog. that that's like some dust head shit. Yeah, that's like crackhead shit. Like, they, like that, person's to to that person's willing to die. That person's willing to die. Did I ever tell you about naked. the time I smoked dust at, at, during school? What? Yeah, I smoked PCP <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> I had no idea like what I was doing. You know what I mean? I had no clue. I was like, bro. I was like, you know what? First things first. I, before you tell the story, yeah. How have I not heard this story before? Yeah. And why did you fucking smoke PCP, you savage? Dude, I had no fucking idea. Like when I was younger, I didn't even really know what it was. You got dusted? Like you knew it was? Oh, I got dusted and I got sick as hell and I had to fucking leave class. Whoa. Did I not tell you? I never told you the story. Nah, fucking. You better go in depth, homie. So like it was like it was at lunch or something like that, and um, I was with one of my friends, and uh, it was me and my friend and this and like this other kid Rob, I don't know, some kid Rob that we used to go to school with, and uh, we were all like, you know, we used to leave during lunch and go smoke weed. Yeah, those were the best fucking times to be a fucking freak, dude. I used to just get high as fuck and go to English class and just be in there and be like, damn, I don't even care. Like, usually I would go to class and be like, fuck, I want to be here. But when you get high, when you would smoke weed and go to class, you would just be like, doesn't, I don't, nothing even matters. <laughs> Emotions don't <laughs> even matter. True. That is true. I'm just in here. That That's is it. True. That's all you think about. I'm just in here. I told you I'm not time. mad. I'm not sad. I'm not too, I'm super comfortable. Yeah. Well, we had a model UN called West Monk, and I smoked weed and went to that. And I was like, oh, Yo, God. Yeah. You told me that. I was so high, and I was like, none of this matters. Yeah, you're like the leader of Africa. Yeah, or and then, whatever they had you do. It was, and then I had, and then I was like, "Yo, I have to get out of here." And then I went downstairs with the tech people and played Halo for like seven hours. Fucking fire! Just fucking high as shit. I was supposed to do like this smart ass shit, and then I just decided to fucking play Halo with, with everyone in like the AV club. But go on, PCP. So, so, and, so uh, smoke, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm chilling in, uh, I'm we're chilling in the car. My friend's like, "Yeah, man, I got dust," and I was just like, "I was like dust." 
And he's like, yeah, man, this shit makes you feel like you're like Superman. And I'm like, what? The? I, and I didn't really think about it. And I thought about it later on. I'm like, wow, this guy, I had a dust head friend. Yeah. Or, or sort of, I At guess. At a young age. I don't know if, I don't know if he kept doing it or not. Cause that kid like left our school. Probably. That's probably why I probably dropped out because of dust. Um, but, uh, but we're, Another we're, one bites the dust. we're in the, we're in the car and I'm like, you know what, bro? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. This is when, like, smoking, I didn't have anxiety about anything ever. Right. This is when, like, I didn't start getting anxiety until I was, like, 18 or 19 or something like that. So, like, this is high school, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to fucking smoke dust, like, right before class. And I had resource class. Remember where they sent the kids who were, like, bad, basically? Yeah. I, I refused to go to resource because I didn't want people to laugh at me. So, so I, we smoked... And, uh, dude, it tasted like nail polish. It tasted like shit. Ugh. It was, like, the worst thing ever. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, this tastes like shit. I remember telling my friend, like, don't box in the fucking, don't hot box the car. Like, open the windows, dude. And, like, we smoked. And, So bro, you just, like, sprinkled little dust on it? I don't know. I don't even remember that part. I think he just had it already. Jesus. So he was a very, he was a very nice guy because he let me know first. I know this person? No, I don't think so, no. Um... Uh, he was in our, I mean, you probably met the kid. Like you probably know that I don't remember his full name. I just know it was like Rob or something. Um, it wasn't, the, it, Rob. Was, it wasn't like the Rob that, uh, our cousin John, like that we knew. Oh. Um, so we're smoking it and like nothing's happening. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I just, it just feels like I'm fucking smoking paint thinner or something like this shit sucks. I don't know. It tastes, it's weird. It wasn't like paint. It was like something like polishy. It was just a weird taste. So we, we leave, and, like, none of us are ta talking to each other. And I was, I was like, oh, okay, we're definitely high because no one's saying shit to one another. We're just walking. We did had, like, it, did it feel a big-ass conversation. So I'm walking down, and, like, it felt like I was walking on my knees. Like, not on my knees, but, like, it felt like my bottom half of my legs were missing, like, the bottom part. And I was just, like, walking on, like, nubs. And, and I was like, yo, I feel fucking awesome right now. I was like, this is fucking crazy. Knob walking and I'm felt walking. good? Dude, it was weird. I was like floating on my knobs. So I'm like fucking knob walking into the high school. I'm walking into the high school. We get there. I'm like, oh, shit, I got resource. And like I walked into resource class, which is where all the kids that are like really yeah. bad in class go to. Uh, it's like study hall for like kids that just, like are probably like rem it's like remedial. So like we're in there. We're in we're in the class. Right, and I mean that's basically what what resource is. No, just funny that yo, if you're gonna smoke dust and to go to any class, it was resource. Yeah, it was resource yeah. class. Um, oh and uh, I go in there, and we had like Miss Shoestack or some shit. Oh yeah, Miss Shoestack. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're fucking in there, and and uh, I was like, dude, I and I'm chilling. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then five minutes later, I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Cause I'm sitting, I'm sitting down and it's fucking getting dizzy as sh I'm getting dizzy as fuck. And I'm like looking at my fucking, I, I can't touch like my fucking, my like loose leaf. <laughs> like trying to do, I was like trying to do homework. I was like, yo, this is a terrible idea to come to class. And I wasn't getting panicky, but I was like, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like so I'm going gonna, gonna to throw up. Yeah. So I, I, I like got, I, I fucking, I like raised my hand like mad nervously <laughs> and I had Miss Shustak come over and she, and she's like looking at me and she's blah, blah, blah. And I'm talking to her a second. I'm like, you think it's like cool if like I go to the bathroom? I, I remember I was like that. I was like, you think it's like cool if like I go to like the bathroom and she just looks at me and goes, are you, are you high right now? Well, yo, yeah, teachers dude. know when you're high. Too. Yeah, yeah. And I remember when she asked me that, like my fucking butthole almost fucking just came out of my, like my whole, my whole fucking body just like almost melted. Cause I was just like, oh <laughs> fuck, I'm going to get in so much Were trouble. Were you dead ass with her though? Well, cause I was like, dude, I don't know what I just smoked. I, I, I knew like what, I didn't know like dust and PCP were like the same thing. But like I knew like afterwards and I was like, oh fuck dude. Like I just fucking PCP'd. Um, because I think like he said it afterwards or something like that. Did you take uh, a PC piss? Did you go to the bathroom? Oh man. I fucking, I was so, I had to like shit and throw up. It was weird. And we're sitting there and, um, uh, I'm sitting there and she goes, I'm going to let you go. I like, I would report you. She's like, you look like you're pale, like you're sick. And I was like, oh my God, it like drained everything from my body or something. Yeah. And it was fucking weird, That's dude. scary. Uh, and I fucking got out of class. I was like, I just need to leave class. I, I just feel sick. I was like, no, I'm not high. I swear. And she goes, all right. But she definitely smelled it on me. That's why. 
Because, like, I would go to class thinking, like, no one's going to smell the most pungent drug of all time. Yeah, in a fucking stale-ass classroom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it, it, like, at least when you're on other drugs mentally, you have to, like, really spaz out to get caught because you can't smell it or anything. I smelled like <laughs> weed and dust. I went in there I just smelled like weed and dust And this old woman Is just looking at me She's like Are you high right now And and it, and, uh, and my lips are going No nah, not at all But in my head I'm like Fuck yeah How bad <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah You got Amanda I was high as shit I was so fucking high And then I'm Yo lo and behold PC When I left When I left the class And started walking around oh. I was fine I was fucking Completely fine <laughs> Did I ever tell you the time I was on PCP? <laughs> at school? You forgot at school. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Uh, and let's just say, oh. never never went near that shit again. Rolled my own blunts from then on out there, too. Yeah, when you said that to me, my, my brain misfired. <laughs> I was like, yo, did my brother just tell me, have you I ever told just, you this time dude. I smoked angel dust? Dude, and I had no idea what it was. My friend's like, yo, you want to like, I forgot which one it was. I can't even remember. He, I, it was either dust first or piss. <laughs> He's like, yo, you want to smoke piss? <laughs> dude, I, dude, if you could, if you could see my face. That's why I'm just imagining how high you were. Yo, and, oh I, and I'm God. looking at this old ass woman's face and I'm freaking out because she's just mad old and weird looking. And I'm like. Can I go to like the bathroom and shit? And she was just like, I was gonna say, you look very sick. You look uh, pale. She's like, Did you do drugs before the class? And I was uh, like, Nah. <laughs> I just don't feel good. And then I left class and I felt great. You smell like, <laughs> you smell like angel dust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> Imagine she was like, Michael, you smell like angel <laughs> dust. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? Did you smoke dust? Did you smoke paste? Oh. Dude. Oh my god. That might be or, if she was, or if she was, or if she was, or if she was just like, why does this, uh, somebody drop some nail polish in here, dude? That's what it smelled like. It smelled like nail polish uh, or something. Oh my god! But I'm I'm thankful that I didn't smoke like a lot of it. Yeah, because uh, it would have been I would have been running through my hallways ass naked with like my little baby pubes oh, out. Oh My god! She's like Miss Shoestack. <laughs> just naked as fuck. Yo, did I ever tell you the time? The time I smoke smoke dust. I never, to I seriously never <laughs> told you that though, no, dude. I never heard that fucking story, <laughs> dude. It was fucking crazy, man. I was walking on knobs. Oh my gosh, on little knee knobs. I remember when I was like twenty three. Yeah. Every once in a while, you would smoke. You would sm it's like smoke weed. No, 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 no. I would, I would sniff. Oh, so yeah. So I ever tell you the story where I literally. So we had a, an apartment next door to our parents. Yeah. And, and I apologize, mom and dad, but we were just partying. Yeah, we were young. We don't. We were young. We were young. Yeah. Whatever. It's over now. I think. Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> it's, it's, it's over now. I tell you, I smoke dust. Oh my god! I don't think I've ever so told. Fun. I think I was like I so embarrassed after I did research about it, like because I, dude, I was a kid. I was like, I didn't care about anything. Dude, angel dust is bad. Oh, dude, Big it's bad. terrible. Isn't it like shit that they put in like dead bodies or am I, or am I wrong? Yeah, let's look up what angel dust is. What is I still angel don't even know dust? what it is. <laughs> Why do they call it angel? I it's such know, a nice I, I name. I just know what it does to you. Yeah, yeah. It's a great name. Oh, it has a hallucinogenic uh, and disassociative prof properties. Dissoci dissociative properties. Uh, yeah, so basically, yo, maybe that shit like rewired your brain. Oh, God. I don't think so. I think Schneef did that to me. I think that Schneef Longoria did that to me. Schneef Longoria. Schneef Longoria. Schneef for Sutherland. Shout out. <laughs> I don't know why I almost said their name, my dude, bad. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Schneef for Sutherland. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so I'm next door. So we had two apartments. We had my parents had their apartment. Then we, like, had our apartment, who, right, which was basically right. a fucking trap house. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, like, I remember, like, I'm chilling. And one thing about... Uh, cocaine is it makes you severely paranoid yeah you can hear everything feel everything the you know like uh, you're constantly like turning lights on and off and shit if you're having too good of a time so i'm literally sitting there and i'm like yo all right like i got a little bit left i'm just gonna do it so i, I literally just go <laughs> and i hear it 
at his fucking mom. Oh, no. Yeah. She, <laughs> I can see how scared he is. I can see how hard he just took a breath. Yo, in, yo, my head, my eyes, everything. Because that's I mean, fucking. Cr- I, can, I would fucking. I would have been so scared. Bro, my kid. heart fell through my asshole. Oh, fuck it that. It fell through my asshole. Fuck that, dude. Because when you were a kid, it was like, oh, like, well, I'll get, like, one bag and we'll split it. And then, like, every once in a while, you would end up, like, people would just be like, I don't want it. Like, here, take it. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, whatever. I'm like, whatever. It's the end of the night. I'm going to do this. So you have to do, like, these little crackhead pre- preparations and shit. So it's like, all right, like, I got that. I got this. I got this kind of bill. I got that. I'm like, all right, whatever. And as soon as I do it, <laughs> bang, 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 bang on the door. And she comes oh, in, but the lights are off, and I'm acting like I was asleep. Right. But I'm mad right. awake. Right, right. I'm high as fuck. So I'm just like, yo. I'm like, uh, I open the door, like, a little bit. And I'm like, I just put on my best tired, like, what's up? Yeah. Meanwhile, your fucking heart is fucking pounding like a fucking porn star. And she was just like, uh, she, she came in, and she was like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm sleeping. Oh, she was God. like, oh, yeah, oh, you were, uh, she was, something along the lines, she was like, oh, I, I, I thought I heard somebody else in here. Yeah, and so our, our, mo- our mom about, is the queen of, like. She could s- smell fuckery. Not even, no, not even that. She's the queen of just, like, really gentle interrogation. Yeah. She is really good with that. She is really good. And I don't mean, like, she knew he was high. Like, I mean, like, she just asks questions yeah. that are fucking. Just it's so basic, and you're just like, all right, yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, like oh, it's, ahead, yeah. Sorry. So it's like literally, like I just blast it off, and mom's like, "What's wrong, Papa?" I'm just like, "Oh, nothing. I'm just a little tired." She's like, "Okay." And then she like gives you like kind of like a little Larry David stare, and then I remember as yeah, the door, get, she was looking for get you. The fuck out of here. She was like, "Is Michael home?" And I was like, "No, he's not home." Oh and damn. Then, yeah, and then I was just like, "Oh, all right." And then I remember the door closes, and I'm literally in the room just being mad quiet. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, fucking, fucking come on. Yeah. I was like, yo. My drugs are so fucking dumb, dude. Drugs are so fucking dumb. I'm so happy that I do not do drugs. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. It could be fun. Yeah. But, but it's not worth. You know, I've that. never been more afraid in my life. My asshole, f- my asshole opened up. My heart jumped through it, brother. <laughs> I was like, yo, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking dead because listen, your parents catch you smoking weed. Oh, that's a, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, your parents smoke. You catch you smoking weed. You're gonna deal with that. Catch yeah. you drinking alcohol. If your mom catches you fucking fucking sucking the snowman, she's gonna be upset. Yeah, and it's gonna be yeah. a big thing. There's gonna be a family meeting tomorrow and shit. There's gonna be like yeah. you, like he's gonna yeah. write like a note and cry Sit while down. he reads it to me. Yeah, and you're just like fuck. How am I getting an intervention? I only drank like three times. <laughs> and you're just like reading of Danny <laughs> last <laughs> night <laughs> when I saw you. <laughs> and, like people were crying and shit. And I'm like, like nah, oh, get the fuck out of here. I was like, yeah, I was just sniffing, sniffing my life. You know what I'm saying? Sniffing my life away. Sniffing my crazy, life though. away. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, she was the queen of knocking on the door. One yeah, time, at the worst times ever. I remember like uh, we also. Used to have friends sleep over, but like when they couldn't sleep over, we would stuff them in a closet. Remember oh, that? You want to hold the story real quick? I gotta, I gotta fucking I gotta you, shit. You got it to go to the potty. Yeah, you know what? Why, why don't you go to the potty? I'll do the ad, and then um, go potty, okay. go potty, go potty. Yeah, these. but uh, yeah, but for you guys listening, we'll talk about how we used to hide our friends in the closet. Yes, oh, and, and then Jason, Mike every once in a while slept there a whole night. Yeah, and then Mike would, uh, Mike would always have like friends come over, and they would like sleep over our house for like a week which I mean, very strange very strange things like he used to, he used to have like he had this one friend that, named chris that like would just i would come home and just be in my bed like playing like gta 3 and shit i'm like yo dude what are you doing here he's like yo what's up yo this dude was like john leguizamo he would always like just come in there and just like start fucking uh and then he had he had a friend named adam that would sleep over all the time and he would shake his feet in his sleep, he would just be like, I would see him like he's like kicking all his feet and shit. I'm like, dude, why are all these people sleeping in our room? But then, you know, they were kind of my friends too, so we were able to do that. <clears throat> all right. Oh my God. That fucking story about Michael smoking angel dust is hilarious. I don't think I've laughed that hard on the show uh, like so far. And for me, 
uh, that really took the cake. It's going to be hard to top that. It's not every day your brother just says, hey, did I ever tell you about the time I smoked angel dust? This is why. Like, I feel like I've known him my whole life, but there's still a lot of stuff he hasn't told me. Um, it's a fucking wild world we live in, dude. Drug stories are hilarious when you come out of them, like, in the right way. But anyway... Let's get into the ads, shall we? Booking. I love ads. Uh, I want to look into our friends here for sponsoring the show. It is our friends over at Babbel today. Babbel. <clears throat> Here's what we got from Babbel. When you're traveling to a destination where you don't know the language, it can be challenging to accomplish even the simplest of tasks, okay? Listen, I went to Italy one time, and I was like, hey, guys, what's up? I'm Italian. Can you help me? And they were like, no. We can help you. And I was like, oh, okay. I thought you guys could maybe help me. And they were like, excuse me, we not talk at the use. And I was like, all right, that's fine. Uh, but listen, thankfully there's Babbel, the number one selling language learning app. Through Babbel's bite-sized lessons, you'll learn new language skills that you can actually use in the real world from greetings, menus, directions, to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture. That sounds nice. Um, Here's for me. I wish that I spoke Italian when I went over there because then I could have dived deep into the, the culture. I could have been a, a true Italiano, you know? Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it perfect uh, for you to learn a language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for the lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. It's hard to go against science, baby. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italiano, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps to improve your pronunciation and accent. Uh, <laughs> there are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to learning lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Start your language learning journey today with Babbel. Okay. Right now, when you purchase a three-month subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. That's like a college course, baby. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code LOPS. I'm using it right now because I will be going to France. So I have to speak a Francais. I don't even think that's how you say it. Francois? Parlez-vous Francais. That's what I have to do. So just go to Babbel.com and use promo code LOPS, L-O-P-S. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. And use the code LOPS. Babel, language for life. John Leguizamo. Yeah. I was just talking about how, like, you would always have, like, like Chris Vega in our closet. Yeah, we used to have friends you always had sleep in the closet kids. because we didn't want our parents to know that our friends were there, like, past a certain time. Do you remember when Adam would sleep over and he would just, like, shake his little feet like a sleeping dog? Yeah, he had. That's an anxiety thing, I think. Right when people shake like that, that I don't was know. Like an anxiety, that was like an anxiety. That was like an anxiety <laughs> thing that he used to do. Why do people wiggle their feet? But uh, one time, sleep. one time, Dad came in, and I just like uh, our friend Jason just stayed in the closet the whole fucking night almost. I was like, "Yo, you comfortable in there?" We put like blankets down in there. We moved everything that was at the bottom and just let him sleep. On the fucking floor in the closet. Let me tell you something. Coming from where Jason lived growing up, I would sleep in that fucking closet too. Dude, it was fucking crazy because this dad would come in. in dad would come in and I and I would be like, I'd be like this, and he would just shut the door mad fast, and he'd be like, "What's up?" Like, because mom and dad would just do that to come check if we were home, you know? Yeah, because they knew we were we had our own apartment next door because our dad owned the building at the time, and uh, they would just come and check in on us. And it, it, the night he did that was actually the night Aaliyah died. Oh, yeah. Because he knocked Aaliyah on the door. Aaliyah passed away, and then he knocked on the door. And I was like, yo, yo, yo. And uh, he's like, do you know? And Jason shut the door, and then, yeah. Yeah, my dad comes in, and he's like, do you know? And I was like, oh, f we're fucked. Yeah. And then he's like, do you know who the singer Aaliyah is? And, and I was we like, were like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, what's Jesus? And then he's, so I was like, what if? happened? She was like, she's dead. And I was like, oh, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, and we're like, I completely forgot he was in the closet because I was like, oh, shit, that's so fucking sad. There's an Aaliyah song that's so good, and I had a hard time finding it. I can't find it, but it's like, hey, my baby. Oh, she was the best. Baby, but I, I, so her tight? passing is not funny, but it was but it was funny at the time that Jason was in the closet because he opened the door. He's like, 
after my dad left, yeah. he goes, damn, Aaliyah died. Yeah. <laughs> like, He's like, like, damn. But like he was Get inside in there, waiting to fucking say it. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's true. I forgot. That's why he came next door. Because they always used to do that. Dad, used, dad was like the king of like knocking on the door, just like, and come in and be like, channel five, you're going to love this. <laughs> I remember yeah. mom and dad, they always do that. They're like, or, and mom goes, quick, channel 25. Dan. Damn, channel, channel 25, because we had two TVs in the same apartment. Yeah. So it was consistently like, oh, damn. Our channel parents, 27. Our parents never watched TV together, but yeah. they watched the same thing on two different TVs. Yeah, and dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my and dad, dad, would just would get, walk, dad would get mad at when mom would do it, but dad would do the same thing. Yeah, all the time. And then my dad would just come and just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Fred Harbison. But it was so funny because I used to be like, just fucking stay in the room. But like, if you're going to watch it, if you want to just watch it together, he's like, channel five right now. I think you're going to love it. And then just shuts the door. Yeah. And it's like, uh, like some like Humphrey Bogart movie. They I'm used to, like, not, okay. they used to not, when they were lazy, they would knock, uh, when they would fuck, when they were lazy, they, they would, would jerk, jerk each other off. off. <laughs> uh, when, um, when our parents would jerk each other off, they would scream. <laughs> My fucking dad or mom, they would knock on the bathroom wall that was on the other side of our room. Because yeah. the apartment that we were in on the other side of that wall where the TV was, was mom and dad's bathroom. Yes, yes, yes. They could and hear everything through this one and wall. And they definitely knew that, like, going back to the drinking, they always knew we were drinking and shit like that. Because I remember one time I ate four fucking packets of Top Ramen back to back and fucking threw up in the in the bathroom next door because our toilet didn't work next door, at the, t- uh, the one in our, ro- in our apartment at the time. So I went to their apartment to go fucking throw up. And dad goes, what are you drinking again? I'm like, oh, and I look nobody up. Nobody can make you feel worse than dad. Yeah, and I remember just looking up and go, it's fucking top ramen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look at the bowl. There's noodles everywhere. I was like, I'm not drunk. I ever tell you the time I, I threw up in the sink? I was like, dude, you think I'd be puking in your toilet if I was drunk? I'd fucking do it over the porch. Yeah, no, I would never. Do, but one time I woke up in the middle of the night and just threw up in the sink. And then one time. God, I, we were fucking scumbags. Scumbags. Dust and fucking. You don't throw up in a up. sink. Don't ever puke in a sink. Yeah, that's not good. It looks, that's gross. And I'll tell you, dad's gangster. Dad went in there and cleaned that whole fucking thing up. Yeah, parents, man. Shout out to our parents. They're amazing. Yeah, shout out to our parents. Amazing, brother. Dealing with fucking, uh, dealing Daddy with, chill. dealing with fucking, uh, dust heads and fucking crackheads. Cokeheads. Cokehead, dust head, fucking puke boys, fucking ramen boys. Bringing our fucking friends in like refugees to sleep in our closets and shit. That was that was a thing though. We always like saved our friends who were like kicked out of their houses. Yeah, yeah. And mom would like not be cool with it but then like really be cool with it. She'd be like, "Well, he's Yeah, mom was yeah, mom they were usually they were usually they were like you could just ask, which we could have just did. Yeah. They would have been like, "Of course," cuz mom and dad used to like help their friends out all the time. When they did stuff for church and all that, they would have all their church friends stay over if someone was like, if someone was in town or. But who's, that, who's that guy that used to come and like do karate for us? Who's that guy? Nathan or something? <laughs> His name was like Nate or Nathan. He used to just be in our fucking hallway, just like. Sit, 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 sit. He's like, let me show you something. Let me show you something. At like four in the morning, I'm like, or like ten in the morning, I'm like, nah, man, get the fuck away from me. I remember, I remember, mom was like, Nathan's here. Nathan, show him that movie. Be like, yeah, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to play Mario now. Who's this fucking guy doing karate in my bedroom at 9 o'clock at night? Yeah, Get him out of here! Yeah, my parents just would help out the most <laughs> random people that they were friends with. Like, our dad had a former, like, NBA star who was playing uh, Triple H. Was it, is it, you know, what, what's He's it called? playing, like, uh, like uh, what the G League is now. Yeah, yeah, G League. Yeah, he was, like... He was there waiting to kind of get drafted or to get into NBA again, and he did. Yeah, his name was, was Mark, Mark, Bl- Mark, Bl- Mark Blunt. Mark Blunt, and... Um, and uh, he, he stayed over with us like a few times. My dad became friends with him. And I just remember waking up at fucking four in the like four in the morning, like sleeping. And we got this guy like addicted to like N64. We woke up this this fucking huge, like seven foot dude is just yeah, in our room playing fucking uh, Ken Griffey's fucking uh, home run derby. Yeah, I remember I came home one time and like uh, he was he was there and he was literally just chilling seven feet tall, just fucking playing my 64 and I was like god damn it just fucking leg yeah I came home I came home and he was still there because he stayed with us for like a week and his fucking legs were just hanging off of our bed huge like his kneecaps were off the end of the bed that's how fucking tall this guy do you remember when mom let us decorate our bed frames decorate did I say decorate? Yeah, decorate. Do you remember when mommy does decorate? Decorate Decorate sounds like decorate decorate sounds like Japanese (laughs) 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 (laughs)
That had to be I real Japanese. I definitely watched like I don't even watch anime that much. When I do, I'm just like, oh my god, I fucking love anime. Anime sounds so dope. Anime sounds amazing, it's like dude. Japanese I've been watching. Dialect. I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Z, but I'm gonna get back oh, into yeah, that. Yeah, in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, do you remember? Mom used to let us one time decorate our like, uh, what are these things called? Headboards. Yeah. And yours was all Jennifer Love Hewitt, and mine was all Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Do you, you remember like that? J Lo, and I love Jennifer Love Huge Tits. <laughs> so bad. When I was what are you young. waiting for? Yeah, she had big old bombs. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we that was like my first celebrity crush, I think, was Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. That's I like, was like fucking in love. That's when dad would like come in there and just be like, what are you guys? <laughs> just be like, yeah, what are you guys doing? Everyone, get out of this room for five minutes. I need some time alone in here. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. I'll tell you this. I have, we, we put girls on the wall when I was younger and mom and dad took it down, though, because it was like risque shit. It was like titties. Yeah, Not we, titties, but it was like girls in bikinis. I think uh, we were big fans of titties from a quite young age. That's such an old thing to do, 90s thing, like just putting old women on your, on your, uh, on like old women, like a oh, fuck. Don't call me during work, you fucking assholes. Uh, <laughs> but putting like chicks in bikinis on walls was such a thing to do. Uh, you know, um, that's just what I, what we used to do in the, in the, I feel like that was like a 90s thing. Uh, but yeah, so like, I'm sorry about that. Like, my friend Dooley, Dooley, what's up, Dooley? This, stop, this guy fucking Dooley calls me. He lives on the West Coast, right? This is my boy, my boy Dooley. We play fucking Modern Warfare together. Me, him, my buddy Blake. Dooley! My Dooley! My, uh, but my buddy Blake, Blake Snell, pitcher for the San Diego Padres. We're buddies. We play fucking Call of Duty. But they live on the West Coast, and these guys call me at fucking 12, 3 o'clock in the morning every yeah. night. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, hey, guys, listen, my girlfriend's right here. She's going to think I'm fucking cheating. Okay? So one time, the phone rings, and... And I, you're like I, going to the bathroom. And it's Dooley. His name is Dooley in my phone. And uh, Selena sees it. She goes, who the fuck is Dooley? Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, And dude. I was like, Dooley is a boy. And she was just like. Yeah, sure it is. Yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah, okay. I was like, do you want to? And then I had to like show him like on Instagram. And she was like, you don't have to do that. But I was like, I really don't want you thinking I'm going off to talk to another girl. I'm just actually going to play video games with my friends. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So uh, shout out to Dooley, shout out to Blake. Uh, those are great guys. But don't call me during the show, all right? We're talking about jerking off to Jennifer Love Hewitt and Jennifer Lopez pictures when we were like nine. I had her bio on my wall. It was so weird. Like, I still remember where she's from. She's from, like, Waco, Texas. Is she? Yeah, something like that. And I used to have her bio, like, on the headboard. Uh, like of our of our bed. It was so it was so funny when I think about it now. Like Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, I think she's from Waco, Texas. Please tell me that I'm right about She's that. from, yeah, she's from, wow, you're a weirdo. Oh, my God. Yeah, huge bongs. Those are bongalitos. Yeah. All anyway. due respect. Yeah, anyway, stay, stay off, step off. It's fucking mine. Yeah, that's <laughs> Um, But, yeah, yeah, see, Waco, Texas. I don't, dude, you know she's why? She's 42. I would have thought she's older. No. She started fucking killing it when she was, like, 13. What are you waiting for, huh? Well, we had crushes on her, I think. Fucking slut. I was, like, 10 or some shit like that. Yeah. No, that's true. <laughs> fucking, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> yeah. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? That fucking spin she does. She's like, oh, I'm right here. I'm which was coming clearly, get me. which was clearly just to get like a shot of her clev. Yeah, they were just like, hey, when you uh, put your arms back, put them all the way back and stick out those tits. You're fucking like, watching this, huh? You so, like this fucking so, shit? Someone put like eighty fucking thousand crabs in her fucking car. <laughs> that movie, I gotta watch that movie, dude. It, I, it's been a while since I've seen. I know what you did last summer, some. And you want to know what it is? It's almost summer's almost over, dog. So you got to get them in now. Yeah, dude. Dude, we watched after we recorded. Just fucking just smoke dust and watch that. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. Smoke dust, call Dooley and watch that. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> take a shit. <laughs> take a shit. Um, we watched. I don't know why I stayed here so late last time, but for some reason, <laughs> it's yeah. three o'clock in the morning. Mike looks at me and goes, "Yo, you want to watch Mortal Kombat?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we ordered Spanish food. Yeah, and I go, which one? He goes, the old one. And I just go, I could either go home right now and get sleep, or I could stay until five o'clock in the morning watching watch Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Yeah, and I was like, with my brothers, I'm gonna wa I'm, I'm gonna watch Mortal Kombat. And such a good choice. It's crazy the recall that we have because we went to go see that movie with our dad. Yeah, dad took us, and I remember thinking, like, did we like this as kids, or were we just so? 
fucking dumb that we liked it, or did we hate it and know that it know that it sucked? You want to know? You want to know who I really like? Really figured out that uh, that I was just into like like butt cheeks and boobies and vaginas. Bridget Wilson, dude. Billy Madison, Mortal Kombat. Well, she played. Yeah, she played. Yeah, she played Sonya in the movie. Fucking and uh, Miss Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, fucking uh, yeah, Miss Vaughn. We, I, I don't know. I didn't have like a crush on her as much as I did Jennifer Love. He, yeah, yeah. But, no. but Bridget Wilson was a dime piece and a half yeah. back in the day when yeah. you were a little kid. She was a dime piece. Shout yeah. out Pete Sampras. Amazing, and, brother. And me and Danny, Good pull, dog. Me and Danny, as you guys can tell, sometimes like finish each other's fucking sentences. sentences. What? what? <laughs> and fucking, uh, we're both like, we're watching the movie. And we're both like, oh, uh, I don't know, whatever. We're like, we're like this chick, Bridget Wilson or Miss Vaughn. Then we look at each other, we're like, dated Pete Sampras. Yeah, we're like, dated. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know why we just both said at the same time. She's married to Pete Sampras. If you don't know who Pete Sampras is, Pete Sampras was like the best like tennis player when we were kids. Like yeah, we Andre Agassi and shit. Yeah, um, yeah, that was like the big rivalry, right? Was yeah, it was, it, was, it was those two. But and, I, yeah, um, we just looked at each other and just go, Pete Sampras. Yeah, Pete Sampras, <laughs> and like. That movie, old Mortal Kombat movie, the oldest, the older ones are, I mean, so bad, but so funny that you want to watch them over, and you do, because me and Danny were just fucking cracking jokes like the whole time, like I knew we would. That's how I was like, let's just watch it, and I think I like smoked a bowl, and I was like, we should just fucking watch. Yeah, that's what it, it wasn't <laughs> dust, guys. It wasn't dust. You smoked a non-dust bowl, <laughs> and and, and you <laughs> he literally looks at me, he just comes in. I'm editing the show, and he just goes, yeah. You want to watch Mortal Kombat? Dude, no joke. <laughs> like, at one point, yeah, at one point, because we ordered Spanish food, like Danny got his fucking mofanguitas. Oh. And I fucking had like I fucking had like empanadas, and we're just sitting there and we're and we're watching the movie together. And at one point, Danny didn't even see me, but I just like was eating my empanada and I just looked at Danny and like and like looked at the movie and looked at Danny and just smiled and I just kept eating my empanada. <laughs> Cause I was like, yo, we're like kids again. It's I felt so funny. I felt like nothing could harm me in that moment. Well, that's all we did when we stayed in a room together. We just watched back to back shit together. And, and Danny food. would either put me onto something, or I'd put Danny onto it, and we'd be like, nah. or then we'd be like, yo, this fucking fire, you changed my life, or something like that, you know? Yeah, and I remember one. I haven't seen that movie in maybe twenty years, and for some reason. I was just quoting shit, and Mike just kept looking at me like I was a savant. I was like, "Those five hundred dollar glasses." Yeah, asshole. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Johnny Johnny Cage line. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. Re he remembered it perfectly because there's always little things when you go back to seeing movies. You're like, "Oh my god, that scene used to fuck me up as a kid," or yeah. like, "I remember it so much." And get down here. Yeah, that was the fucking the dumbest thing ever when they made Scorpion say here. "Get down here." I was just like, even as a kid, I was like, "What the fuck? Why would they add that?" In I'll there? tell you this: the, we also talked about like when that shit that fight, Mortal Kombat, <laughs> and Mike and Mike Mad High looks at me and just goes, "Yo." You ever think about like what the producer of that song was just doing in the studio dude, <laughs> when he made that yeah, shit? He probably yeah. had, he was probably like, because I'm thinking he's like Luke Cage. That dude was in there like Jax. That dude was in there like fucking feeling it. Like yo, I'm making the fucking the most fucking amazing song of all time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's just like go, some go, dude, go. some dude who just fucking has long ass ponytail with like golden chains on, <laughs> killing it. Who made? Yeah, who made it? Who made? Why don't the you be mortal? like Hans Zimmer or somebody? <laughs> oh, that's a great yo. You know what I watched? For the first time since it came out, what the other day? What Interstellar? Oh yeah, banger, bro! Such a mind fuck. That show, that that movie, excuse me, is so fucking good, dude. It's fucking crazy good. So fucking. Wait, long who makes though. who makes it? Does uh, it say? The Immortals are a band consisting of Belgian. Yeah, you had to be from Europe to make this weird ass song. Electronic musicians: Maurice Praga Khan, Engelson. <laughs> A, Damn, what a and name. Olivier Adams, best known for their work in the controversial techno industrial dance new beat band Lords of Acid. That's a big ass genre for you guys to be in there. Whatever that you just read sounded like that's why the song came out that way. Yeah, so thank thank you, Maurice Praga Khan, Engelen, and Olivier Adams. Come for, on the show. Come on the show. For one of the, yeah, come on the show. Yo, if I can get the guy Hang that the fucking did it, there's two songs that come to mind. It's the Mortal Kombat song and that fucking... Uh, now, listen up. Here's a story. 
about town and, and listen. And uh, listen. The, I'm blue. Fuck. That's Daft Punk, isn't it? Uh, no, it's Eiffel 65. Oh, yeah. Eiffel 65. But they did a whole Vice on it. Oh, that song? That's why Vice is so dope. I would love to work for Vice. Because it, Vice does the dopest shit because, like, yo, remember, like, I'm blue? And they're like, yeah, all right, let's do a whole story about it. Yeah. And, like, they, they had, like, beef. Like, they got mad over, like, producing credits and shit. Like, they got mad at each other. What? Yeah. And, I love, uh, and I love music video shit like that. And the music video was based on Metal Gear Solid. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know I that. Blue, how blue, how blue, how I did not know that. That is nuts. Blue, how but how I love learning. I love getting, like, weird documentaries like that. Uh, the Bob Ross shit. Did you watch that yet? Yeah, I thought it was going to be, like, more, like, Bob Ross murdered people and shit. But it was just, like, no, you, you just kind of, no. like. It, it was, I thought it was perfectly fucking, like, I knew it was going to be the complete opposite of joy and happiness and greatness and awesomeness. I know, but when I see, like, portrayal and greed, I was like, oh, did Bob Ross fucking, like, kill a bitch? No, but he cheated hardcore on his wife with some chick who was, like, 80 and banged 80-year-old puss. Did you hear the guy with his wife? He's like, listen, everybody was having sex with everybody back then. She's, she's like, like, right. like uh, 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 uh. No, this is what it was. Look, look, you want to cut it out? Cut it out. I don't care. If you want to cut it out, listen, we were having sex with everybody. <laughs> And she's like, okay, now, all right, stop. He's like, ah, we were, this is what it was. Dude, he got fucked over, and he fucking cheated hardcore on his wife. And, like, and it's crazy. Like, he was, his work ethic, though, was nuts. Imagine, dude, he was like a fucking printer. He was just making these fucking paintings all day, every day. He was in, like, the Navy and shit, or the Air Force. He definitely killed some peeps. Yeah, I think, yeah, he, it was giving me the same, like, Mr. Rogers vibes, because Mr. Rogers was, like, fucking in the war, too. Yeah, wasn't there, like, a rumor that Mr. Rogers was, like, a fucking assassin? I think he has, like, a Purple Heart or some shit, bro. <sighs> Did Mr. Rogers kill anybody? He has something, <laughs> he has something like that where he, where he got, like, a, a medal for, for some shit, I think. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Rogers wasn't a sniper or a Navy SEAL or a scout Marine. This is a great urban legend, 21st century, but is not more than a legend. Well, I think he was still in the military. I just don't think he was any of those. Yeah, let's see. Mr. Rogers, don't you be my neighbor. Yeah, I'm just thinking of him like fucking prone position, like in a fucking, uh, in a ghillie, just like, won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> just fucking <laughs> kill the dude from fucking, fucking thousands of feet away or however far fucking snipers go. Well, any fucking gun nuts can let us know in the fucking comments if you want to take it that seriously. But just fucking sitting there like, hello, neighbor. <laughs> Popping somebody in the fucking dome, dude. Won't Ghost recon style. My neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Today's <laughs> word of the day is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, dude. Oh, that's so crazy. That's the rumor that he was a sniper, though? I never yeah, heard like that. Yeah, like a scout sniper or some shit. Won't you be? My next name. victim. <laughs> 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 The word of the today, kids, is assassinate. <laughs> they should do a cut of, like, uh, Mr. Rogers, like, up in the fucking bell tower and saving Private Ryan. This should be hilarious. Like, Barry Oh, uh, yeah, like a, like a, like a Photoshop uh, video almost, oh, or movie. You, what should be? <laughs> My neighbor. My neighbor. <laughs> yeah, instead of praying, he just fucking sings to himself. Dude, he was a cold motherfucker. That No, nah, Mr. Rogers was a cold bitch. He was the man, though. He did a lot of awesome things, like... He broke down like racial barrier shit on TV too. I'm pretty sure. What did it, what, how Fred, long? Did it, Fred Rogers. Fred Rogers. Stomach cancer. Ah, oh, that's terrible. It that sucks. Uh, it's rough. He was only 74. Only 74 years old. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. The cost fucking crazy. But yeah, like. Watching shows like that, Damn, and then you, you actually learn about, like, these idols, like, these people who did these really nice shows, and it's always nice knowing that, like, they were actually really, really nice people, you know, and then you find out, like, you watch this thing about Bob Ross, and you're just like, damn, Bob Ross was getting it in. I just want to wait, like, <laughs> I just want to wait, like, 10 years, and then they do, like, a Billy Mays one. Yes, exactly. Like, Billy Mays here, back with another fantastic <laughs> product. Just, yeah. And it's yeah. just like, he wouldn't stop having sex with people. <laughs> <laughs> What you saw on TV, here's this lovable, lovable guy that's trying to sell you fucking fake hair spray on cans and fucking tape and all kinds of fucking magic grip and shit. He's like, I got the magic grip. In like a fucking button down cardigan, just fucking killing it or whatever that fucking thing is he used to wear. He always wore a blue, like rolled up sleeve shirt. Yeah. 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 
And then he would like, uh, what, what was his thing? Like he would, um, did, did he, didn't he have he like a little those train set and stuff sometimes too or something like that? No, Mr. Rogers had a train set. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mr. Rogers. Billy did, Mays, yeah. Billy Mays just tried to sell you fucking uh, magic light at fucking three o'clock in the morning. He would always like, look at this. Drips gone. Look at that. Gone. Oh, you want to be able to pull a fucking truck with magic grip? Guess what? You could gone. fucking do it. And look, I'm pulling a truck with my asshole. You know who looks like Billy Mays? The dude that owns the fucking uh, pizza Pizzeria. store. Yeah, he store. does. He does look like Billy Mays. Kind of looks like Billy Mays. Yeah. And then Billy and then, Mays here. And the way that he died was fucking crazy. Yeah. He like hit his head on a flight and was like, oh, I'm a little concussed. He did like an interview and then he like died after that. Yeah, oh my god, Billy Mays. Dude, Billy Mays was a G, dude. Yeah, look, look at his sleeves rolled up, dude, all the fucking way. This guy loved fuck this Billy Mays was a crit. Dude, crazy shit. And then the Sham Wow guy fucking slapped the Sham Wow out of some chick at a park and then went to jail for it. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Sham Wow. It's gone. And there it goes. And there it's it goes. Gone. And I'm gonna slap your face. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm fucking, just gonna chop, chop, chop. I'm gonna chop roll your face. it up and abuse you. <laughs> Look Dude. at that. Look at that. Look at that. Eggs done. Gone. Your face fucking lumped also, up. Also, his fucking product is literally named after a sound that like comes out after the old Batman punches someone in, in the old Batman shows. <laughs> Shim wow. <laughs> Shabam. Shroom. But yeah, Billy Speculation Mays, is that he died of a head injury after he was struck on the head by luggage after an airline landing mishap yeah dude where tires blew out because you're they say after you have like a hemorrhage you're not supposed to go to sleep during at like like while you have after a concussion or during it whatever it yeah, is. yeah yeah i love when people are like i think i got a concussion They're like don't go to sleep you know how i learned like, how to okay. not go to sleep during a concussion 10 things i hate about you oh <laughs> wow dude we're throwing it back dude throwing it back 10 things i hate about you fucking good fuck dude, dude. heath ledge you i feel like you thought julia styles was hot no, not at all. That wasn't your type? No. She looked like a human cat. Yeah, and then she whips her tits out at that one scene, like, get him out of detention. But she definitely had moves. St step. What was that movie she was in? Not, uh, it was uh, Save the Last Dance. Oh, yeah. Yes. Save the Last Dance like Julia Stiles. <laughs> Fucking riff her ass. What he say that? <laughs> like Julia Stiles, I'll say the last dance. <laughs> what the fuck he says? But yeah, fucking... Uh, oh, fucking R.I.P. Billy Mays. You man. know, I randomly have Riff Raff's old number. From Vine. I love that you just have random old phone numbers. <laughs> fucking Riff Raff gave me advice about, like, record labels and, what like, what to do and what not to do. And then you were like, all right, bro, I'm never going to make music. Peace. Yeah, we never talked again. He goes, yeah, I want you to, like, direct my next music video. I was like, what? I don't, I don't direct music videos. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't direct music videos. I don't do any of that. He's, he's like, like, nah, just learn. He's like, yeah, I want you to, like, come up with my next music video. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about right now? That's so fucking funny. And... I believe every single bit of it because oh I feel like God. he would say that. Dude, so fucking funny. And then like... Um, what is he doing these days? Just doing music stuff? I don't know. At first, I thought he was going to end up being like a fucking porn star or something, to be honest. I thought he was like going like a route where that's the kind of guy who's like just doing porn. Yeah. Like, like Riff Raff's in porn now or something. Like, would you be surpri surprised at all or no? No. If I saw Riff, Ra Riff Raff's Riff Dong, no, nah, I, I wouldn't. Um, OnlyFans too, aren't they? Like, they are they taking like uh like P and V stuff away? They completely reversed their whole thing, and like now they're saying you can do it, so you could still fuck on there. Yeah, because someone in a conference meeting was definitely just like, "Hey, uh, we're gonna go broke if we do this." Yeah, <laughs> and then someone else was like, "Are you sure?" And they were like, "Yeah," and they were like, "All right, fine, we'll just keep it." I don't even know why the fuck they were gonna do that. Isn't that like their main like? Isn't that where most of their money is generated? Other than like celebrity social media females going over and being like, I got one now. And then they make like a mill in a day and then bounce. I just love that. Yes. I just love that men's perversions can be like stat casted now. Oh yeah. Like disgusting pervert boys. We could all just be like, here you go. This, that, that we know that most of the people in this region watch this. There was like a whole porn hub map. Porn hub. Oh, yeah, Genre yeah, yeah, map. yeah. What they watch in certain regions. Yeah, and fucking, of course, in, like, the Midwest and down south, it's, like, it's like sibling shit. All right, so as of, <laughs> as of, yeah, probably. It um, is, I think. These are the top ones. Whoa, Japanese? Here we go. <laughs> these are the most searched terms in Pornhub uh, as of last year. Nice. Hit okay. Um, lesbian Killing is one. It. Hentai, it. milf. Jesus, hentai second? Stepmom? Stepsister. Those oh, are the top dude, five. We are sick. Mom, teen, Japanese, massage, 
anal rounds out the top 10. Then you have Ebony. Ebony didn't make top 10? This and this. Fucking racist. Yeah, porn's racist, dude. Porn's racist, brother. Um, And then after Ebony is cartoon. Overwatch the game? Overwatch the game porn. Asian threesome. VR. Cream pie. Nice. Big ass. Cheerleader. Gang bang. Lesbians. scissoring. Scissoring. That's a whole different genre that's outside of lesbian? I guess. POV, big tits, Korean Chinese. <laughs> so Damn, yo, Matt racist towards my Asian peeps. So these are the horniest countries by rank. Wait, 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 wait. go back to that. Yeah, How fucking warped is this that hentai is second, but Korean and Chinese and Japanese are all way lower? It's, it's not animated, baby. People love animated porn. Disrespect Never did Chinese it. people out here in the fucking streets when all, they have the best food. We're not going to give their porn a little bit more sightseeing. I love that they have like power rankings. Like they're down two yeah. spots from last month. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like NASDAQ, but for fucking porn. Yeah. So this is the top 20 horniest countries. <laughs> United States is number one. And it's by it. a fucking landslide. Wow. We are horny as fuck. Yeah. We're horny, disgusting pigs. That's because we have so much weird... Uh, Pent up shit towards sex on the like. I guarantee you, Spain's last. Let's see. Um, so it goes top five horniest countries in the world: United States, United Kingdom, brothers across the pond, brother, uh, India, Japan, and Canada. All right, those are the five horniest. After that, France, Germany, Australia, Italia. Damn, we're super horny. We're, we have two in the top ten: uh, Brazil and Mexico. Spain is 11 or 12. Philippines, Netherlands, Poland, Sweden, Argentina, Russia, South Africa, and nobody's fucking horny in Belgium. <laughs> what the hell's going on over there? You know what I mean? Who, why is nobody jacking it in Belgium? No one's getting... Here's the thing. In all these countries, and they're e- probably Ethiopia's, fucking... Ethiopia's on the way. Non-stop. And probably have sex channels up all the time. So people are just like... The horniness is done in two seconds, you know? We're, we're that, I, I feel like that should be like pent-up horniness. And this is time spent per visit. Uh, top five. Philippines, South Africa, United States. Philippines, 13 minutes, 28 seconds. Girls, if you want your guy to last, make sure he's a Filipino. Uh, South Africa, United States. We're in third. I'll take a bronze medal in, in visit. Oh, yeah. I'll take, yeah. I'll take the bronze. I'll take a bronze. Canada, Argentina, United Kingdom, France. Australia, Netherlands, Poland, Sweden. As long as we're beating France. Yeah, as long as we're beating France and jerking off, that's all I want. Mexico, <laughs> Germany, Italy, Belgium. <laughs> Belgium doesn't jerk off a lot, but they stay around for over nine minutes. Uh, Brazil, Spain, and then Russia just gets in and gets out. How is fucking, um, how is, um, it's so weird to me that, like, that, like how is, like, all these different categories. Like, lesbian scissoring is literally just completely divided from lesbian because it's, like, the most searched thing. I'm just glad fisting wasn't up there. Dude, if you're into fisting, you're a fucking weirdo. I'm sorry. If you like seeing somebody shove their fucking hand up someone's ass like they're going for the last chip in a Pringle can, you're a fucking fucking weirdo, dude. If you if you enjoy seeing fisting where it looks like someone's using someone's ass like they're a fucking ventriloquist doll, you're fucking disgusting. Yeah, Get that's, your shit that's fixed. That's not gonna do it for me. Just, isn't that weird? It's weird. You want to know what? Why do you, it looks like a doctor going in for a baby to drag it out. It's fucking gross. I got. I gotta say this so that the people who like fisting, all you fisters out there, can fucking look in the mirror and take a I wanted, look at I wanted to get caught. I wanted to get caught. <laughs> um, time spent per visit by state. So Mississippi stays jerking off. They're number one. Damn. It's. Miss, listen to these five Mississippi states. Mississippi ain't missing a jerk, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't missing a jerky, I'll tell you that. These Does any five states sound more like they would lead the wor- world in uh, America and jerking off? Let's see. Okay. Mississippi, Alabama, mm-hmm. South Carolina, Louisiana, Arkansas. Those are heavy jerk hitters. New York's not even close. We get in and get Those out. Those are all do, south, too. New, yeah. Right? Yeah. Wait, yeah. is this jerking off or is this... This watch- is time spent per visit. Watching, you're jerking off. Uh, or watching Pornhub, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. Fuck, you're jerking that thing. Yeah. Um, states that last the shortest. Kansas, Idaho, Oregon, Utah. Hmm. New York's not even on there because we ha- we go through too much stuff. I feel like New Yorkers are too busy to jam. Yeah, we're too busy to jerk off. 
Uh, midnight is the highest in the city anyway. jerk hour. Yes, for sure. Uh, the most jerk off day is Saturday at midnight. Damn, it's when a, the work when the work day is off, when you're off of the work days. Oh, is this most search celebrity? This is fucking weird. Yeah, this is the most jerked off two celebrities. Uh, Kim Kardashian, Selena Gomez. I don't look up celebrities, man. No, nah, I think it's weird. Know. Well, Kim Kardashian had a sex tape. That's why. Right. Uh, Lena the Plug. I don't know who that is. Yeah, that is a crazy name. SS Sniper Wolf. YouTube Gamer. Yeah, I, I know her. I've heard of her stream before. Gamers are horny little fucks. Oh, my God. Dude. So much jerking off. So, I feel so bad, honestly, for some girl streamers because they just get fucking harassed. Like crazy. Gal Gadot. Yeah, that, those are the five most... Search celebrities for porn. I think searching celebrities is fucking weird. You ready for you ready for I'd rather the, watch a pro go at it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or you're like you're like, damn, I really want to jerk off to a fucking scene that they were in in nineteen ninety three. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> give me a fucking give me some good angles. Give me some four K. Yeah, but you need a throwback every once in a while. Oh, Keep oh you honest. Gosh. Oh my god, I can see your baby hair. It's gonna be that four K. The, t- <laughs> <laughs> the top category is cuckold. Why? I don't know. I'm not into it. Cuckold Japanese are the, t- are the two top categories. Top gaining categories. Like these are like the horses who are catching up. Yes, basically. <laughs> categories viewed the shortest. Sorry, redheads. Wow. Damn. Hating on the ginger ellies, dude. Yeah. It's so fucked. Gin- redhead and DP is out. We it's love you, redhead. Cool. Sorry. Come on the show. Every single redhead that's ever existed. The woman's favorite search is les. Here's the top five Pornhub searches for women in America: lesbian, lesbian scissoring. I guess it's a different thing. Threesome, hentai, Japanese. Okay. Damn. All right. Shout out to women. Okay. Women kind of like you know the guy uh, one is the most guy one ever. And then six is rough sex. So that's the honorable mention. I'll give you the six for men. Rough it up, ladies. Listen to how fun rough disgusting men are. Milf. <laughs> Stepmom, <laughs> Japanese hentai mom, teen. I don't think I do any of those, honestly. I no. don't. I don't think I do any of those. I'm such a vanilla searcher. I'll do some lesbo sometime, you know what I mean? I'll get into some les. I'm not doing, like, Overwatch. Like, why are you? I, I, I want to play that later, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to, like, fucking be horny while I'm fucking getting a fucking kill streak. And, and cheerleading, cheerleading is up 1,000%. Why? Searched. Specific shit is weird. Yeah. Interesting. But even in the gay community, Japanese is huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Japan be holding down the porn game, dog. Yeah, shout out to Japan. Japan's crushing it. Japan is out here, baby. 35 years old. Oh, these are ages and stuff. This is interesting. How do they know this, though? It's they, They could pull it off. Like, is it surveys? Yeah. Or is it, like, people who sign up for accounts? Also, reading Pornhub comments is fucking hilarious. hilarious. One of the best Dude, comment sections on the internet. So fucking funny. It's so fucking there, funny. There was, this like, there was this porn once, and this girl was, like, doing some weird shit. Like, I noticed it, too. She was, like, she was like just horny as fuck and feeling it, and she's, like, moving her head like this. She was, like, moving her head really weird, and someone in the, in the fucking comment section goes, uh, this is a cool porn, but what's with this chick moving around like she's Michael Jackson? <laughs> And like it got like eighty thousand likes. It got. He was like, "Why is she? Why is she pop? Why is she popping and locking like Michael Jackson?" That's fucking hilarious. It's like I was like, "Dude, I noticed the same thing." Because sometimes you're like, "Yo, you know what? I'm not even gonna jerk to this." I, there's been times where I've gone on like Pornhub and I'm like, "I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna look through this shit." And then I just read comments, and comments are fucking hilarious. Because she was doing, she was, she was like. She, it was so weird. She was like convulsing, but she was just super horny. And she was like, uh, uh, and he goes, yo, this is p- cool and everything. But why is this chick popping and locking like Michael Jackson? <laughs> and I just started <laughs> dying laughing. I was like, this is the best porn hub comment I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. 42 billion people last year visited Pornhub. Fire. We're killing it. Four- <laughs> We're all going. You know how busy hell's going to be if you go to hell for jerking it then? That's 42 billion people going straight to hell. Dude, whoever was the first guy to jerk it, imagine him telling his friends. He'd be like, guys, you have yeah, to try this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was just chilling somewhere, just finished, literally ran back to the village, yes, yes. out of breath. <laughs> 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 
cave in. You got to try this. <laughs> <laughs> just trust me. And then everyone just started jacking their thing. What dude, do you, did, nature, what do you think? What do you think came first, sex or jacking that thing? Jacking the thing, probably. Probably jacking the thing, because the other part is so much more scientific. Like, how do you know? Yeah, there's a lot. Like, there's a lot to I it. I put my penis in that. <laughs> it's it's also just it's just nature. I think it's because we're humans. We think too much, but it's just it's in us. We I mean I think we just know. You remember like those caveman cartoons where a guy would bonk a woman over the head with a bat and drag her by her hair to like rape her? No. Yeah, dude. Like a caveman. What the fuck are you watching? Caveman cartoon. That was the that, uh, bonks woman on head. That was the weirdest segue ever. So yeah, see, like this was like this was like a big thing in cartoons. That's fucking weird. Yeah, where they would bonk women on Dude, the head. All cartoons are them. mad weird. They're like they're like mad racist and shit. I hate like whenever I see it and they, and they make it look cute, which is the scariest part about it. I hate old ass cartoons. They're always so weird. Yeah, that was like a that was like a like a running theme in like caveman cartoons where. <laughs> He would get a fucking wooden club and bash this woman's head in and then drag her into a cave. Very pleasant. You completely caught me off guard with that question. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I, I had no idea what the fuck you were talking Yo, about. Yo, bro, can I be super honest about something? Yeah. What's up? I've had this rash under my left armpit for like a week. All right. You want to uh, see it? Yeah, let me see it. What's, is it like fucking, what has it been doing to you? As soon as you said that, I had to know. That's probably a heat wave thing, dude. I don't know what it is, That's probably bro, a heat wave because thing. Does it hurt? Yeah, and it's only under my left arm, not under my right. Just get some fucking... Uh, I haven't worn deodorant in five days. I got some fucking lotion you could slap on before you yeah, go home. I, I, I got to do something. I'm starting to get afraid, though, because it gets, like, inflamed. No, nah, don't get all fucking... Don't get all weird on yourself. I do that all the time. Now I'm, I'm doing a little bit better, like, when I get shit, because we're fucking hypochondriacs. You just gotta like let it ride out. It's probably just a heat thing. It's probably a heat thing, or is or it? or like an allergy thing, maybe, or something like that. I don't I know. I think maybe I'm like allergic to certain deodorant. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, don't let it freak you out. Cause like I had fucking weird things, and I'm stings. And also like who knows? It could be it could be anything. It could be like maybe you just been maybe you wore fabric or something that was different, or or maybe you used a different lotion. Cause we do so many things throughout the fucking day that we don't pay attention to everything, and the next thing you know, you get a reaction. Or I think it, it also could just be our like family friction. just has like shitty skin. We have great skin, but we have like we get really bad like reactions. To we things. have good facial skin. But, like, we have weird body, body skin. skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. weird. For like I think fucking, that's definitely a genetic thing. Yeah, there's something going on there. But, yo, know, it hurts so bad Yeah, sometimes. it looks like somebody fucking whipped you. It looks yeah, crazy. It's, if, if, I'll show you off, like, off the air so you can see, like, a better shot of it. Oh, I can't it's wait. It's huge. Behind the scenes, fuck. I'm going go, to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to a dermatologist. Yeah, or you could just start up a new craze and fucking get in OnlyFans and then uh, be, people. Be stink porn. And then you can get a uh, fucking rash porn. <laughs> yeah, rash porn, because people will probably watch that, to be honest. OnlyFans, I told you, OnlyFans paid me $10,000 once. I fucking, I can't understand for the life of me like why they thought it'd be a good idea to get rid of fucking porn from their site i don't know I that's don't know. literally where they're fucking fucking where the cake and batter is and that's the other thing too it's like you don't think someone's just gonna take your idea and do it dude that's where all their cheese is yeah the tiger is already trying to do it if someone was like hey only fans is going out of Tyga's business i'm to, like let's make an only tiger's trying to do so. it with some other dude that has worked with like kanye before or something I remember I tweeted, I said, I'm going to make a site called Only Dan's, where only people with the name Dan just slang their meat. Oh, dude, that, that's fucking awesome. Right? Yeah, just just, like, yeah everybody I'm, just I'm has an account. Everyone's like, Big Dan, Little Dan, Danny, Danny fucking G, <laughs> Danny L. Just like a bunch of different Dannys on there. What do you think's the hottest girl name? Hottest girl name? Yeah. Probably like Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> I like just asking random questions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I think that's a sign. I love that, that you just think, you knew that off the jump. You didn't even think about it, Brittany. I mean, because I'm just thinking of like like names for like girls that are probably like usually. I feel like it's like Brittany or like Bridget, but I feel like those names aren't really two brs. Uh, maybe like br hotties. I don't know. I don't really know. Do you do you like your name, Michael? Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Do you like when people call you Michael or Mike? <laughs> uh, I don't care. What do you prefer? I don't give a shit. Nothing bothers me. I don't give a fuck. Are you a Mikey guy? Yeah, that's all right, too. Yeah, Mikey's What's up, right. Mikey? Yeah, that's all right. I don't really get weird over my name. 
People have been ruining our last name for fucking so long that that kind of shit doesn't fucking affect me really. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I remember. Uh, doesn't really fucking doesn't matter to me. So I I, I launched a, a sports betting show, and they and they did a trailer in the beginning. It's like down 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 down, and it's like you're listening to the best damn uh, sports betting pod period. And it's uh, presented by DraftKings with Danny Loprior. And I was like, guys, we got to get the E in there, fix dude. This. Yeah. We got to fix this. And there's nothing more annoying than someone literally enthusiastically saying your name like they're down for you and completely getting it wrong. Like, yeah. that's a, that I could say is fucking annoying. I was like, oh, God. hey, Loprior. Lo like, Prior. dude, don't be so happy when you say, if you're like, yo, Loprior, I'd be like, all right, he's not enthusiastic. The, the happiness is ruining it for me. So get it right if you're going to be so fucking enthusiastic. Yeah, it's, I rather, especially on a fucking podcast. Loprior or Loprorier. We yeah. get Loprorier all yeah. the time. Just yeah. like, you French? I'm like, no. But I've heard a uh, mistake so many times that it doesn't. Yeah, I'm used to it at it. this point. But yeah, if you guys like, uh, uh, if you guys like betting, gambling, uh, I have a new show uh, presented by DraftKings. Uh, I'll put the link in the bio. Fuck yeah. And you guys could actually um, come and hang out with me and watch uh, games like throughout the weekend and do all this fun shit. But yeah, man, uh, work with DraftKings, doing a lot of fun Fuck, stuff over there. Fucking A there, bud. Hey, fucking A there, bud. I'm trying to get some money from these hosers. Let's go for a rip, bud. Let's go for a rip there, bud. I'm going to send it. <laughs> I'm going to send I'm it. I'm going to send it. Um, listen, so uh, I think we could wrap this one up. Um, yeah, we're going to come to you guys with a... It's a little bit late tonight. It's, it's but a little bit late tonight. We're going to come so. with you guys with a longer one next episode. Yeah, I, I don't think they're worried about so, uh, that. You yeah, know what so I mean? F- uh, I got to get out of here. I got things I got to do. Dude, I have like five shows now. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. You're fucking crushing the game. I have this. I have this. Keep uh, going, man. Uh, the, uh, mental health, uh, gambling. I have another yeah. show. I have another show that's coming out. Twitch, I just started doing. Uh, yeah. t- uh, twitch.tv slash Daniel Daniel Priori 69. 69. Love it. F- crushing it. Um, this Saturday, I will be reviewing. Uh, I'll be there for that one. W- we're going to listen to Certified Lover Boy. Um, Maybe I'll stream. We'll do some at the same time. Yeah, let me know. And then we can listen. You to can do that Loverboy. first, and then we can, and then or and then we could play something yeah. after. I, I'm just gonna get DMCA like hard, game. but I don't give a fuck. No, just delete your video afterwards. Yeah, that's what I do. I just delete it. If you get DMCA, you'll literally be banned off the website. So, yeah. so I, I you have three strikes. So I keep looking. Don't at do it. that. Yeah, just delete your vods afterwards. No, but I think it's just kind of fun to like uh, to do that. Um, yeah, do it. And just delete that I'm, VOD afterwards because yeah. if you get banned after just starting a fucking account, you're going to fucking be sad as fuck. I think they banned, like, your IP and everything. Damn, really? Yeah, bro, you can't fuck around on Twitch. Twitch is fucking so fucking weird thought, now. I would have thought that's, like, free fucking promotion. No. You know what I mean? Like, if you're playing it from their YouTube... Dude, we'll play this ghost hunting game. It's hilarious where you hunt ghosts. I want to hunt ghosts. Dude, you, you and me would fucking, we'll have a blast hunting ghosts. Yeah, there's no VOD there. Nice, you're crushing already. Yeah. You're already crushing the game, yeah. bro. 366 followers. You come chill with me on Twitch. Amazing, brother. Amazing, brother. <laughs> you know what Hulk Hogan was like? I love this song. Yeah, dude. this fucking song right there. Kendrick, brother. K-Dot, dude. K-Dot, dude. K-Dot, brother. Dude, dude. You gotta, like, <laughs> you gotta give me lessons after this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give you Hulkster lessons. It's K-Dot, dude. K-Dot, dude. K-Dot, brother. Amazing, K-dot, brother. Brother. Dude. Dude. Um, <laughs> brother, but, dude. yeah, so uh, this weekend, uh, Certified Lover Boy drops. I will be reviewing that live on my Twitch. I did a Donda listening party um, last night. I just was like, yeah, I'm going to get into it because the thing with, like, Twitch, too, it's like you have to learn a lot of shit on the fly. Like, I don't want to, like, keep going, like, through OBS and, like, tweaking shit. I'm like, yo, can you guys hear Donda really good? Can you hear me? All right, we're just going to do this. Yeah, but you'll I'll, get, I'll, you'll get used I'll get to shit it. acclimated and, like, scenes and shit. Like, I just want to put enough hours right. so I can make affiliate and then, like, you'll get do You'll get used do. to everything. You're going to have mistakes. You're going to have bad streams, great streams, awesome streams. You'll see. It's a fucking ride, and it's a fun ride. Yeah. It's a fucking, it's a fucking, it's a fucking real good ride i feel like we should start tagging hentai now and like japanese in like our videos and see if people watch us more oh that's true <laughs> and lesbian scissoring you know what's weird too it's like i always lesbian I, scissors <laughs> lesbian scissors. scissors oh yeah lesbian cool. seagull beavis and butthead so uh yeah so uh this is our segment uh right the homies um <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Write the, the, write the homies. Write the anonymous. <laughs> write the fucking homies. This is where uh, our patrons can write into us privately and express something that they might not want expressed, you know, via our Discord and, you know, the comment section. So this subject is called engagement situation. 
<laughs> What's up, guys? First, I would just like to say I love the podcast and both of your guys' individual content. Fucking suck up. Um, I love you, bud. Thank you. It's always my go-to when I'm feeling super down, especially recently because me and my girlfriend of seven years just broke up. This isn't our first time breaking up, and we're still and we're still somewhat talking. And I'm not too sure if we may stayed, we may split up or not, fully. A year back, I bought an engagement ring and was waiting for us to move in. To pop, move in together to pop the question, but that of course never happened. So I'm stuck with this ring now. Do I either hold on to a ring for either A in case we get back together, B for a new piece of H. C, I sell it because I could use the money. Anyways, the show, uh, love the show, boys. Keep it up. And also love the way Danny reads my name with an ethnic twist. Shit's fire. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so we literally just like had to edit because I read the name out. Not the whole name, but the first name too. Uh, so it's funny that he brought that up at the end of that. That's but uh, I think you should take this more than anything just because of like, you know, life situations. Yeah, listen, man, uh, I, I've been in that situation um, first off, you can't force people that if she's unhappy with you or you're unhappy with her, you can't force a relationship and something as serious as an engagement when it's forced, it's, <coughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to be something that's going to work out for either of you. Um, if I were you though, if you could get your money back for this ring and you really, really don't think that this is going to work out, get your money back. And just invest that money in something uh, that that either you want, or just invest it and let it build up. So when you get that B right new piece of H, you can even get a nicer ring, or you can just have that money you know stashed saved away for yeah. a rainy day. You know, um, if it's not going to work out, a lot of people think that that ring's going to fix a lot of problems. It only causes more problems. So if, if I were you, I would uh, try to get as much as you can for it because diamonds are not. A wallet's best friend. They're a girl's best friend, but they're not a man's best friend. They depreciate like shit. There's no resale value. So if, if you can get the best possible price that you can get for it, I would do that. And listen, man, um, I feel like that thing is kind of like a symbol that you guys have in your relationship right now. Um, for you, it's kind of like you're still holding on to her. You can't force people to do things they don't want to do. I don't know the extent of your situation, but this is something that you guys at some point will figure out. And it sounds like you guys need to have a conversation, a real one. Um, but don't think that getting engaged is going to fix all your problems because it does not. So if I were you, I'm going to go with C, sell it, uh, because you could use the money. And um, I love reading your name with an ethnic twist. Michael, what do you what, what do you have for uh, us right you, here? I mean, you basically nailed most of it. Um Sometimes breaks are hard. They're weird. Uh, you can get back with somebody. It's not impossible, but sometimes it doesn't work out or someone, one of you might randomly find someone because the world is just a big fucking goddamn, uh, you know, roulette fucking fucking table or yeah, whatever dude, the fuck it you, is. You know, yeah, if you listen to the show, listen to how fucking disgusting the world is. Yeah, it's literally, it, it can go either way, you know. Um, these are all choices that are valid and it's important that you're thinking about all them but it personally if it was me and and it didn't look like it was going to be too bright i would just bring the ring back and get my money back or something like that you know you know um, mike's going about that money dog yeah i don't even know i'm not even first off if i get make an engagement ring for someone that shit's gonna be made of fucking tin foiled and like salt crystals <laughs> i'm not fucking buying an engagement ring no i'm definitely gonna buy an engagement ring uh, but uh, but i'm telling you right now if it didn't work out and this wasn't going as smoothly. I, I don't know. I, I, you can hold on to it for now if you want to, to keep it safe. Yeah, but until you find out what was really going right, on. Right, Because I, you, you would feel like a dick if you brought it back and then she was like, oh my God, I love you. I made a mistake. Or like, we all made a mistake. Or whatever. Whoever's f fault it was or yeah. whatever. Don't maybe, jump maybe it's the on gun. both ends. Yeah, don't jump the gun. Don't jump the gun. Yeah. But I would exercise A and C. Yeah. Once A figures out, you know, once you figure out A... I would go see. Yeah, and just and, ju and just see where it goes, you know? Wait a little bit. If you guys are talking, talk. But if if it's... M I'll tell you this, though. If it's more on your end where you're like, I want to get back, bring that up and, see, and like, see where she's at. Don't hold that in, dude, because if you don't want to wait, you don't have to wait. Um, no. if, if she's not trying to be with you, then maybe she's really just trying to move on or do something. I don't know. 
but like have a real conversation with honesty. That's when the real results come. Don't hold shit in. Don't wait for anybody. Waiting sometimes is is nice. It depends on the situation. But if you don't, if you're not, if it's not a certain thing, like don't wait for on anybody and just like and just do you, man. Try to do you the best that you can. Big facts. And I hope and I hope it does work out. Maybe you guys will. You you never know. But for right now, talk to her. Be nice with each other. But if it bothers you to the point where you really want a real answer, then don't be afraid to ask her. If it's more, on, it depends on who's and it's on more. So for sure, for sure. For and sure. you can always sell that ring and just. Give it to our Patreon, you know what I'm saying? So, like, whatever. <laughs> it's all that. But, uh, yeah, dude, thank you so much. That is a segment, Write the Homies. Write uh, the Homies. If you go to patreon.com slash the Low Priori Podcast, you can write us uh, an email at the Low Priori Podcast at gmail.com. You have to be a patron to ask us a question. I'm letting you know right now. I know. I double check who's a patron and who's not. So don't just send us fucking emails and you're not a patron. Okay? Patrons get the dibs. They keep the lights on. That's why we get to help them and give them life advice because he smokes angel dust. I I do I do cocaine and we give life advice. And That's we're bosses. What it is. And we're fucking bosses. Shit. I'm gonna give you the entire time while I do the patrons, you have a chance to do it. Okay? Yeah, right, yeah. No, don't wait, wait, wait. And I'll tell you when to go. Go. Tariq Judah. Estella Escobar. Arrow is my middle name. Allison Meta. BG Flex, nice. Daniel Lopriori, David Simpson, Ivan C. Feliciano, Arsenal, Josh, Kakashi69, Diaz, Marvel Malang, Mr. Fucking Silcox, Nicole Derelu, Nicholas Nielsen, Noah Morhiser, Ryan Blake, Stephen Green, The Real Pachu, Puerto Rican Pikachu, Tim, Turbo Chubbs, Matthew D. Bower, Bessie, Carmen Julia Fisher, Louis Dreyfus, Johnson III, Diggs, Ryan Murray, Will Whit Whiting, Aaron, Adam Wright, Ashley Sparacino, Chantrell Meyer, or Mayer, Colin the Step Chungus, Corbin, Daz, Dean Rowdy, Diasha Napier, Dave Frazow, Hayden Hoskins, I Love You Pedro, Jack B, Jade Hubble, Jordi Ordanza, John Kaminskis, Jordan Montano, Cal, uh, Callie Hamilton, Larry Marstellar, Linda from Accounting, Madison Hall, Max Hunt, Moises Sandoval, Namaste in bed. We got more Lob Nation CEOs, $25, $50 tiers. Ne uh, Neely Thomas, Olivia Zapato, Pico Newton, John Jr., Jackson III, Paulo Zavidu, uh, Phyllis Wayne, Rubis Cubis, Sheila Viejo, Steven, still fat though, Sydney Merrifield, the Cucumbersome, Trevor Joyner, Twitch.tv, Prince MOS, Vanessa Pineda, Ben, Julia Jean Johnson and Sophie Sophie Gaylor. Got it. Sorry. Listen, my name is Danny Lopriori. You can follow me at Danny Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Danny Lopriori 69. Mike, where can they find you on the internet, bud? Yo, yo y'all know me. Still the same LG. Twitch.tv slash Michael underscore Lopriori. Peace. All right. Be good to each other. Uh, I love you. And love you guys. Shout out to everybody in uh, New Orleans. Thank you for all Louisiana. the support. Don't yes, yes. Shit. Hell yeah. Shout out to everybody in Louisiana. Sarah Strange Lizar, you watch the show. Shout out to everybody in Louisiana. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. Love y'all. Thank you for the support. Deuces. Have a nice rest of your week.